Hey friends, what is up? Ash here with Gin Sense. Hopefully you guys are doing well. So it's time to do a little bit of a fragrance rotation video. Been a long time since I've done one of these, uh, a really long time. I used to do them pretty regularly, but then I just cycle through so many different fragrances in any given week. It, it, as it becomes pointless. Here's my fragrance rotation of 23 fragrances this week. <laughs> so a little bit of a twist. I had my wife pick out my rotation. So these are the seven fragrances that she chose for me. I did tell her that I wanted them to be fresh because it's been hot. So she basically just went through and picked out seven random freshies. I mean, I, I don't really see any rhyme or reason with these uh, other than that. So let's jump into it and let's check this out. Seven fragrances my wife chose for me to wear when I told her they gotta be fresh. So a couple of these fragrances, I'm pretty sure she just picked because she liked them. And then the other ones, I think that she picked because I don't uh, mention them often or wear them often. So it was kind of like, here, you haven't worn this in a long time, wear it now. First fragrance is from Halloween. It's Halloween Man Hero. And the nice uh, rainbow gradient colored bottle that reminds me of Superman ice cream from when I was a kid. Super easy to wear. It has that citrus ginger combo in the opening, very fresh, a little bit sweet. It's got an aquatic feel. It's got ambroxan in here as well, or an ambroxany uh, scent profile as it dries. It's a bit similar to Invictus Aqua or Mont Blanc Legend Spirit in the way that it comes across. So if you like those fragrances, you'll probably like this one too. And as long as you can pick this up for a pretty good price, I think it's definitely worth having in the old collection. Now, a decent price, I would say, is like $35 or under. And this one is a little bit weird in that at some discounters, I think it goes for around $50 or so. I've actually seen it for more than that as well. And then at others, it goes for under 30. So yeah, it's just kind of all over the place. Uh, Fragrance X, as of when I'm shooting this video, which typically has the worst prices as far as the big discounters goes, actually has the best price on it. So yeah. Like I said, kind of a weird fragrance in that aspect. I think at Fragrance X, it's like 29, and then at Fragrance Net, it's closer to 50. Nice fragrance for compliments though. Super easy to pull off, very versatile, not a bad choice. After that, we have a fragrance from Tommy Bahama, purveyor of fine, uh, ter terrible looking dad clothes. Yeah, don't don't buy those Tommy Bahama button ups. Some of those are rough looking. I mean, if you, if, they, if you like them, if they make you happy, then go for it. But oh. and they're also fine purveyors of inexpensive tropical summer fragrances. And that's what this is. It's Maritime Journey. So this one has moss, clear wood, green apple and florals. And when you're talking about a summertime cheapie that has green notes, especially green apple, with supporting florals and kind of an aquatic feel that makes you think of, oh yeah, Nautica friggin' Voyage, yep. And guess what, this actually does smell, it does smell a little bit like Nautica Voyage, yep. Not that that's a bad thing though, Nautica Voyage, even though it's really inexpensive, is a really nice smelling summertime fragrance and so is this one. It's a little bit pricier than Nautica Voyage, but I would say that Maritime Journey comes across a little bit smoother than Nautica Voyage. So it's like Nautica Voyage with a twist, with a better bottle also, because I like the rope. Yeah, that's cool. After that, a fragrance that I found at Burlington. It was very difficult to find online, almost impossible unless you wanted to buy it on eBay. But here lately, it's popped up at discounters, so now it's a little bit easier to get your hands on it. It is Yope Wow Fresh. So this has a decent amount of sweetness underneath everything, bit of a vanillic touch, geranium, bergamot, and a very prominent violet leaf note to the point that some people actually compare this to the smell of aqua Fahrenheit. Yeah, the discontinued aqua Fahrenheit, which I absolutely love. I'm trying to leave you, you leave you hanging, make you think I was gonna say I hated it. But if you've watched this channel at all, you already knew that I loved it, so. Whatever. Rest in peace, Aqua Fahrenheit, replaced by Fahrenheit Cologne, which is an absolute affront to humanity. I know Fahrenheit Cologne has some people that love it out there, but do not try to come to me and tell me that Fahrenheit Cologne is better than Aqua Fahrenheit. I'm not gonna slap you or anything, but I will judge you silently and introspectively. I'll just give you one of these deals. Right. 
So does this smell like aqua Fahrenheit? Uh, to me, not exactly, but it's there in the same family, the same style. They're like second cousins or something. This one not having quite that citrus punch the same way that Aqua Fahrenheit does. And with a little more of that vanilla, that sweetness underneath everything and lacking the leather from Aqua Fahrenheit. But still, for the price, not bad. And it'll get you kind of close, kind of, sort of, a little bit. Wow Fresh is a very solid fragrance for the price though, and I think that Yope in general is one of those fragrance houses that's a little bit hit or miss. For me, I either think they're a great buy for the price or I think they're uh, an abomination that I absolutely hate, that makes me wish I couldn't smell, that makes me wish I had COVID again. Some of the Yope fragrances are like that. Thankfully, this is one of the good ones. And then we've got Cologne. Yeah, just Cologne from Etat Libre d'Ange. And this is one of their more normal fragrances because this house has a lot of wacky scents. Yeah, wild and wacky where people don't really know what to expect and sometimes are frankly intimidated or potentially grossed out at the thought of even smelling their fragrances. I mean, they've got names like Fat Electrician. They have Secretions Magnifique, of course. I mean, that's the one that always gets brought up because it has notes like semen and blood. Uh, so kind of a hard sell unless you're just trolling people People, and then you buy it and spray it out for them, put it on your shelf and never smell it again. But not this one. No, this is a bona fide, normal, normy fragrance. Nothing to worry about here. That's why they gave it the most boring name of all time with cologne. White floral, citrus, musk, and green notes is pretty much what you're in for here. It's got a similarity to Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino or 4711. It's that style of scent. Very clean, fresh, the type of scent that you would wear in spring or summertime when you have a nice white t-shirt and some uh, seer sucker shorts or something when you're trying to look preppy like Zach Morris from Saved by the Bell. Really nice fragrance though. I actually like this one a lot. Cologne is a great smelling scent. So absolutely dig this. And you can probably find that at discounters for cheaper, but if you want to buy it from twistedlily.com, use the code GENTS10, save yourself 10% off the entire website. Great niche website. If there's a fragrance that you can only find at full retail, and they have it, it's the best place to go because you can at least get 10% off. And if you shop at jomashop.com, use the code GENTS8, $8 off any order over 110. Then after that, we got one from Kieran, New York, 10 a.m. Flirt. Haven't spoken about this house in quite a while. This fragrance I like a lot. It's a unisex scent. My wife can wear it, I can wear it. It's again, a little bit like cologne in the sense that it's uh, white florals, and kind of a green undertone. And this one also has the note of fig, which is a note that I like a lot. It seems underutilized, but really it is kind of a specialist note. You know, you have to have a very particular type of scent to have it work very well. I really like the opening here as well, a little bit citrusy, grassy, a great scent for a hot day in the spring or the summer, or when really everything is kind of blooming and coming back to life again, that's when this shines the most. Back into the designer realm we go with a cheapy, or fairly cheap anyway, Coach Platinum. Mine's a tester, got some notes on the back here. Black pepper oil, cashmere and vanilla, and leather. This doesn't smell as close to Dior Sauvage as Luna Rosa Carbon does, but it does have a little bit of a Sauvage-esque vibe to it in the way that the cashmere in comes across in this fragrance. It's like the cashmere in version of the Ambroxan in Sauvage, if that makes any sense. It is too cashmere and as Sauvage is to Ambroxan. Has a nice fruity sweetness to open the scent up. It's very appealing. It's a big compliment puller, very versatile, easy to wear stuff. And then to wrap it all up, the new Dior Own Sport. And I agree on this one. I like this one a lot. It kind of continues in the trend, in the path, in the way that Dior Ohm seems to be going with more of that modern woodiness in the base. No concentration on iris here. Bit of citrus, a little, little green around the edges, which I'm a fan of. Very easy to wear and essentially is Dior Ohm 2020 turned into a sportier type of scent. So if you like Dior Ohm 2020 or you've come around to liking it as I have and a lot of other people have as well, you know, moving past the removal of iris, which sucks. But anyway, if you like Dior Homme 2020, but you wish it was a little bit better suited for warm weather, that's where this comes into play. So Dior Homme Sport wrapping this one up. Gotta say, I might have her choose my fragrances going forward a little bit more often, just because she does sometimes pull out some random stuff that I wouldn't really 
think of wearing that day. Let me know in the comments some of the stuff that you guys have been rocking here lately, some of the fragrances that you've been enjoying. As always, thanks for hanging with me. Thanks for your support. Stay safe out there. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.